Greetings and love and kindness family. How you doing today? This is Karen Khadija Davis, folks, and I am the host of Heart to Heart Healthy Living. I broadcast live on innerlightradio.com from 2012 to 2016 of December 2016. That was my last live broadcast show for a particular reason. I now host the Conscious Self Health Care Hour, Conversation Hour with you. I make these recordings once a week to take the place of my live show. So let's take that deep, deep Kundalini breath. Hmm. Now it can be a domino breath or that Kundalini breath. It can be a fire breath. But you want to take the breath, the breath of life, and recognize that breath of life because that is the first food for the body. Taking that breath. Ah, We take that breath when we leave our mother's womb and come into the world. We take that breath to align ourselves with the landing on planet Earth. And so I invite you now to tune into the conversation hour, the conscious, conscious conversation hour. I put my radio show on hold on Interlight Radio. I've been live for seven years on Interlight Radio. I had one goal, one purpose, and that was to support you with emancipating from medical mental slavery. It was an opportunity for you to share your wellness story, your wellness journey, to share with the world how you are no longer fearful of diseases, that you understand what disease care is really all about and that you have emancipated yourself. See, I know that there are wellness stories out there because, look, that's over a $3 trillion business, wellness. We have so many wellness practitioners, healers in the community that you are supporting and working with people. My show was an opportunity for you, the healer, for you, the practitioner, to share your wellness stories of your clients that you, and your students that you have supported over the years. My show was for the students and the individuals that have taken back control of their health care, that they are no longer afraid of diseases, that they don't cater to diseases. They only move towards wellness. That's what my show was all about. And I'm telling you, community, in seven years, in seven years of being on innerlightradio.com, the healing frequency, in seven years, I got no response. None. I put on a show every Tuesday, every Tuesday of every week from 2012 to 2016, I held the space for people to call in, to share their wellness stories, to post their wellness story on my website, to allow me to share their stories. And I got not one, one, not one, not one person in seven years to call me on their own and share their wellness story. Something was wrong with that picture. It didn't make sense to me. There's no way that all these people out here are doing a good job in supporting you with emancipating yourself from medical mental slavery, taking better care of yourself. That somebody don't have a wellness story. Not when I read wellness stories all the time in social media. So something was going on. I'm putting out money every week to broadcast to have a space for individuals to share their wellness story and the message wasn't getting out and I don't understand why the message wasn't getting out and why nobody wasn't calling in maybe it's because I told people suggested to people to emancipate from medical mental slavery maybe because in 2011 I actually found it Emancipate Yourself from Medical Mental Slavery, which is celebrated every April 30th. To honor yourself, to let people know that you are no longer afraid of diseases, that you have a handle on your life, that wellness isn't just an adjunct to diseases. Wellness is the truth of what we are looking for in our life. So maybe somebody didn't like that I created that day, you know. Or maybe they didn't like that I was saying, step up out of the dark ages of disease care. Or maybe they didn't like I was saying, shift out of chronic disease care stress. 
Or maybe they didn't like me asking, why are you working from a man-made mindset of human consciousness about disease care? You are in control of your life. I don't know what the concern was, but I can't be concerned about it. But what I do know, I said in December of 2016, I'm stepping back. Why should I pay for a radio show for space to have people to call in? And nobody want to call in. Nobody even even wrote their stories, submitted them on my website. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe they did. Maybe the transmission was being blocked and nobody heard the show. Oh, maybe my email account was being hacked and I didn't get the emails that people were sending in. Maybe my life was put into a bubble. So I would think that nobody was listening to me, that nobody cared about what I was saying, that I was isolated. But that doesn't stop me because, see, I know that is what happened. I know that is what took place, but that didn't deter me. I did it for seven years until the finances ran out because if I can't get support in running a show, therefore I can't have the show. But that doesn't mean I stop putting out the messages I stopped sharing the truth with you. So I say that I'm on a sabbatical from live broadcasting. And when I return to live broadcasting, it will be because of the fact that my email is no longer being uh, intercepted by someone. And that information that you're sending me about how well you are doing, how you decided to stop the pharmaceuticals, how you decided not to have that surgery, how you decided to emancipate yourself from medical mental slavery, and that you are living a fantastic life now. And that you are no longer fearful, caught up in the disease mongering of Western medicine and the government and all those people that are afraid to let go of disease care. Because whatever they're doing, they can't keep doing it forever because I'm going to keep sharing the word, word, you know. My YouTube channel can be blocked just like my radio show was blocked. Just like my emails was blocked. Just like my telephone was blocked. But that hasn't stopped me in 30-something years of telling the truth about how I moved from disease care to conscious self-health care over 30 years ago. So I want to say to you right now, take that deep, deep breath with me. I'm Karen Khadijah Davis, folks. Native Tony in Washington, D.C. I'm the founder of The Ark of self-healing and self-help, health education for longevity and peace as a disease prevention and maintenance organization to assist you with stepping up out of the disease frame of thinking because family and community, yes, 100% it is true. Take that deep, deep breath with me and hold on to your hats because... We create cellular malfunctions. Cells will malfunction. It's not a disease. But we know Western medicine has got to give it a name because people are looking for a name to identify what's going on with their bodies. It's too easy to say that you have blockages, stagnated information. The body is not receiving enough oxygen and nutrients for the cells to perform. The cells that make up the organs, the systems that make up the body, that is just that simplistic. But it is that simplistic because you are in control of your life and your health by what you think, by what you do, how you act, and how you feed in your body. There are no such things as... As diseases. The name of the disease identify the process in the body. What organ is having a problem? It's not a disease per se. They want you to know where that stagnation is, where that blockage is, where that lack of information is, and how you are not using the right raw materials to support that blood staying magnetic, keeping the right vigosity to move through the body, to nourish the body. Because you see, the fluids of the, of the body needs to move like the oceans of the world. So it's not just the blood system. More importantly, it's that lymphatic system. And that's why for the past 25 years, I've been working with one formula to help you emancipate yourself. Oxygen. Ah, Taking that deep, deep breath. 
first food of life. And the physical food has got to be full with nutrients and oxygen. So that's oxygen plus pumps. That pump is really your cell. That mitochondria and every cell must pump. It must create what? The electricity to power. Power that heart to do its job, to power that pancreas, to power those kidneys, to power every organ in your body. It starts with oxygen. Letting that pump be as strong and as powerful as it can be to give you electricity to power your human body holographic image come on people it's the 21st century wake up from the dark ages of disease care step up out of the dark ages of disease care now you see as i said i'm karen khadija davis folks Nate Antonio of Washington, D.C. I am the one and only conscious self health care educator. I help you understand what your body's symptoms are saying literally, energetically, and consciously. You see, this information will rejuvenate and regenerate your thoughts to live a stress, and I do mean stress. And I do mean disease-free life with conscious self-health care moves. Mental observation view is essential for your success. So community, I say to you, how can I help? Health education for longevity and peace. You slay your health care fears. False education accepted as reality or false evidence appearing real. Because I'm telling you for sure, one your prayer for scent when you emancipate yourself and understand that you create cellular malfunctions that you can correct at any time because you can't correct a disease you can't cure a disease because they can't cure it and they can't correct it that's why they have you maintaining your negative status health with their drugs and removal of organs they're holding you back making you believe in them and not believing in yourself and understand the power that you have to correct your cellular malfunctions so my challenge is to you all do you want to be the one and only conscious self-health care educator in your life do you want to be your wellness doctor you want to listen to my shows at www youtube.com forward slash k D-A-V-I-S-F as in Frank. YouTube.com forward slash K Davis F for Cell Life Channel. See, this is all about for the life of your cells because guess what? <laughs> we are a big cell, baby. This is a big cell battery. And you are keeping the charge to your consciousness. And that's been my message. Somebody didn't want me to get that message out. Somebody didn't want me to let you know that there are seven major discoveries that supports that one formula. Oxygen plus pumps plus electricity equals power. (sighs) Sit back and take that deep, 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 deep breath. It's time to relax, family. It's time to relax, community. It's time to know that you are free, that the cure has been found when you rise in consciousness. Because, yes, that's the one thing that is true. Life is a state of consciousness. And you move yourself into the states of consciousness every moment of every day, every hour of every day. So what are you thinking about? And what are you holding on to? And what's been in your family line of understanding about how to care for your physical body? Is it time for you to break away? Is it time for you to be true to yourself? Is it time for you to stop volunteering? To stop giving your body to that system so they can practice on you and not even make it a better place for the world to live in because if it was true in this day and age that we are in right now with all of these new documentaries coming out from all these medical doctors from these ND doctors from people in research of the truth with all these documentaries coming out letting you know that the power lies within you why do we still want to be weak 
And why do we want to hold on to the thought of diseases? Why you want to struggle with diseases and you don't have to anymore? Come on, family. Come on, community. It's time to start living. So I may not be live on Interlight Radio right now. Not until everything opens up. So that I can help you share your wellness story with the world. I want people to understand what you have done, what I have done in this life that we're living. That we're no longer living in fear. Because what? The human body going to lay itself down one day. But it's about the journey of life while we're here. How are we living? How are we caring for our being? That's what's important. Because the body will go. So don't live in fear when they say, oh, you're going to die if you don't have this surgery. Oh, you're going to die if you don't take this drug. Because guess what? We're going to die. We're going to make our transition. The physical body is going to lay down this coat. But energy never dies. It transforms itself. And that's how powerful that you are. And they don't want to let you know that. And they don't want you to trust the intuition in your own being. How to take care of yourself. That's why they never taught you cellular ecology. That's why they never shared with you true health care. Health care is about how to care for the physical body. It's not about running externally, asking somebody, what's going on with me? Why am I having this problem? And when you learn how cells work, how cells process, you're in control. And then when you have those little moments of cellular malfunction. You know how to take that deep breath and relax and ask yourself up front, straight up, what law did you break? I say, Karen, what law did you break? What mental, physical, nutritional law, spiritual law did you break? What consciousness are you holding on to? Who are you giving your power to? So Karen sat down. Karen sat down and Karen take a moment and be still and say, what did I do to myself this day? Because I am the conscious self-health care creator for me. I create my own life. I create how this animated body moves. So who am I giving my power to? That's what I started doing. And that's what I want to say to you today. So I may not be live on right radio right now. And I truly miss it. I truly miss being live and having my conversations with Brother Jamal. But I know I'm going to come back. I know I'm going to be there because whoever is interfering with what I'm doing, they can't keep doing it forever. Because as you see, I may not have the income to be live, but I can still broadcast what I got to say right here on the Conscious Self Health Care Conversation Hour. So when you see this posted on YouTube, make a comment. Share with your friends. If somebody out there wants to share your wellness story, want the world to know what you have done and what you are doing for you, your family, your children, because what is your health legacy going to be? To, to shift us out of this state is about our health legacy. Because you see, they got their legacy. For over 200 years, they've been having you afraid and making you feel like there's no hope, that you got to get legs cut off and have foreign parts put into your body to make you operate. The body may function like a machine, but you're not a machine, baby. You don't need to lose no organs whatsoever. We just need to take time to step back, take that moment, and take that deep, 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 deep breath and relax. And when you go back and listen to some of my old shows for my first listeners, you know, I say to you that sometimes we need to take a map, a mental adjustment period, conscious self-health care moves, mental observation view is essential for your success. And how do you do that? You take that map period, a mental adjustment period. It's a time to look at what you've been thinking about, what you've been doing, generation, generation after generation. It's time for you to shift and let some new information come in because everything has been updated. Everything has been upgraded except for the thought process of the individuals, the human beings. We're stuck in an old paradigm of thinking. We're afraid. You know, we feel like we have to have this sickness. No, we have cellular malfunctions because the body is going to malfunction. It has to malfunction. But you are in control of that and how to correct that. The body is adaptable. It's going to fluctuate. That's why no one fits into the same numbers. 
Nobody should fit into a certain number and call that healthy. Your body is adaptable. Your consciousness is adaptable. You make the adjustments. Come on, family. Wake up. This is March the 24th, ending of this week that I'm sharing my broadcast with you. Also, this is the month that my son was born in. He was born on March the 22nd. Three, two, two, powerful number three, powerful number two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, powerful number. This year is 2017. That's already a 10, one, returning to yourself with a seven comes out to be eight. All of it is all good and it's all kind. And I'm going to share with you why I do what I do. It's also, you can listen to the broadcast of my real life episode on my website, ConsciousSelfCare.com, C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S-E-L-F-Care, C-A-R-E.com, and click on the link, Heart to Heart healthy living radio show and listen to the rebroadcast shows that I have been sharing and I tell you I have a history of broadcast shows because I was on Enter Life innerlightradio.com for seven years but I've been out here doing radio since 1996 starting on WOOL teaching the science of lenthology cellular ecology because I am a lenthologist And I share with you how I became a lenthologist after the birth and the transitioning of my son. And so to honor his life, the movement, and where I am, and that no one is going to stop me from doing what I'm doing, sharing with people to stop pharmaceuticals, because I'm going to say it up straight. They tell you every single day that a drug is not going to do anything for you but clog, block, cause stagnation in your cells because they cannot perform because they cannot process that raw material it's not the correct material the drugs and what they use to create drugs only brings your body down it's a slow suffocating death of the cells so no you do not need pharmaceuticals in a catastrophic event yes and once you wake up realize what happened it's time to let it go You've been in a war zone, something that has occurred to you. They do what they can through the modern understanding of medicine to help you maintain life. But no one should maintain life based on a drug, not even if you have a transplant. Because if you have a transplant, it's in your body, it becomes your organ, it's a part of you, and you don't need a drug to try to help it keep functioning. The body needs raw material and what it's looking for is the minerals and it's the nutrition from what we eat. Let's make it plain. Yes, my whole platform is to stop taking pharmaceuticals for the daily care of your body because there's no wellness in it. There's no health in it. We must understand that because you got to think about it. If you take time and listen to the commercials, they tell you the interaction of drugs they have a medical recording system. They have everything they need out there in your medical records. And it's not paper anymore. Every doctor that you go to knows what's going on with you and knows what drug you're going on. But yet, instead, they tell you, tell your doctor what drug you're taking. So the doctor can say, oh, well, you know, if that's causing that problem, then take this drug. No. They're supposed to know, but they know that there's no coherency in drugs. You got a drug being given to you by the cardiologist. You got a drug being given to you by by the, uh, um, you know, all the systems names. Because, see, I'm not even into drugs, so I really can't even break it down to you like that. But, you know, they, you got to, you got, you going to the, to the oncologist and you going to the uh, uh, diabetic doctor and you going to, to the arthritis doctor and everybody giving you drugs and they know that there's an interaction. 
They know that one drug gives you 20 side effects and stops and slows down and clogs up the body. Then your other doctor's giving you another drug. Some of you people out here, you got four, five, six, ten damn drugs that you were on. How you think you're going to get well on them drugs? You're not. And they told you that you wasn't going to get well on it. They said, maintain yourself, even though you're breaking down. And then they say after years and 20 years and 30 years and your body all shut down and clogged up, then they say there's nothing else they can do. It's something that you can do. You can believe what they say, that that drug is not going to help you get well. It's not health care, family. Come on, it's disease care. But it ain't going nowhere. And we shouldn't try to shut it down. Because there's some good aspects of it. Just like I said, catastrophic events, war going on. We need that information. We need what they have. But it's time for you to wake up and take better care of yourself. And understand that you have cellular malfunctions and how to self-correct those cellular malfunctions. And a drug is never going to do it. So yes, celebrate with me every year. Think about this every day. But April... Is conscious self health care and lymphatic cellular wellness month. It's a time for you to step back and take notes, pull out your pen and paper mentally or physically. And if you've been on drugs for the past six months, one year, two years, five years, ten years, twenty years, and more parts in your body is breaking down and you're not getting well. This is a time for you to really look at yourself and see what's going on and seeing what's happening and asking yourself, why am I not getting well? And then don't just keep saying that there's going to be some side effects and you're going to get well and you're waiting for a cure because you see it's not happening. So April is a month to set back and reevaluate yourself and start creating a whole new plan. So therefore, on April 30th, you can say, I'm celebrating myself, emancipated myself from medical mental slavery. Yes. And I'm doing wonderful. Because see, even if it's been that way and it's been too long and your body can't really adjust itself, go out with ease. Make your transition with ease. Don't be fighting so they can say, oh, they, they fought a good fight. They're fighting. They're fighting. They're fighting. They're trying to let go of the drugs that are keeping them here. Because see, them doctors, they love putting you over in long-term care. They get paid more money. They ain't got to do no work. They ain't got to come see you. You in long-term care. They getting paid. They keeping you alive a little bit longer. They done told you there's nothing else they can do. But yet, still, they putting you over there and they still keeping you on them damn drugs. And they're not doing nothing for you but holding you back so I say let them go with ease let your loved ones go with ease if that time has come and they got them over there they should not be on any pharmaceuticals because the pharmaceuticals didn't do anything for them to get them well so how they gonna get them well over there in that damn home come on community (laughs) step back let's take that deep deep kundalini breath you know what time it is. It's the Conscious Self Health Care Hour. Conversation with yours truly, Karen Khadijah Davis. Folks, I am a Conscious Self Health Care educator. I am a lithologist, and I am a pioneer bioenergetics, bioinformation, wellness specialist. I support you be- with becoming your own wellness doctor. Because you see, when you go to any practitioner, any doctor, any health person, any healer, you know why you're going to that person. They have what you want to help you feel better, to help you maintain wellness at an optimal level. And we have to understand that we are more a light, energetic being than we are this physical body that they try to make come over top of our consciousness. Because, see, it's not matter over mind. It's mind over matter. That's what's happening in the world today. So sit back and take that deep, deep breath. And I'm going to share with you a story of life and why I am where I am and why I say it's important that we understand the lymphatic system and how important that system is and seven major discoveries that tells you everything about every disease and how you can self-correct that. I'm going to share the life of my son Kavanaugh and Russell folks but take a moment and take a deep 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 breath and get ready today March 22nd 2017 is how I 
the face posts red. Today, March 22nd, 2017, my son, Kavanaugh Russell Folks, will be 25 years old. And every day for the past 25 years, I have shared the story of his life. One of the reasons why I do what I do as a lithologist is because of this beautiful baby boy and the message that he continues to share with his mother so that all humans can live a better and more healthier life while on this planet called Earth. His soul spirit always keeps me balanced and moving forward in love, peace, and harmony. Happy Earth Day, my son. And I know that you and your father, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, your siblings are energetically having a party. I celebrate you and the information that your life gave to the Western medical system for all humans. Kavanaugh Russell Folks was born to give a wealth of information to the world. After spending a little over four months in the hospital, my son transitioned two hours after being released from the hospital. It was out of my search to find out the truth of why I had this experience that I found healing at the International Academy of Lithology. I learned the seven major discoveries in medicine, the process of the life of the cell at the cellular level. I learned about the blood protein research. How well we care for the cells is how well our bodies will be. I received my certification as a doctor of lithologist and as a lithologist. And I created the arc of self-healing and self-help health education for longevity and peace to mainly share the science of lithology and that the name of the disease means nothing anymore what's important is how well you care for the cells of the body the art of lenthesizing and that we do not create diseases we create cellular malfunctions with all that have an ear to hear with all that has a heart open to receive the heart to understand and the mind to believe to know in the power of the miraculous self-healing body I share my why I do what I do as a conscious self-health care educator lithologist and pioneer of bioenergetics bioinformational medicine I'm a wellness specialist and Kavanaugh's health journey can truly be heard the beginning, the pregnancy, what I went through in episode two of my real life radio show that you can listen to at ConsciousSelfCare.com, C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S-E-L-F-C-A-R-E.com. This beautiful story was written for my son by Brenda, one of my co-workers in 1992, and I share this story with you today. Once upon a time, there was a spirit called life. It resided in the place where all wishes live. Life heard rumors of a place called the world, a place where things called mommies and daddies hugged you, talked to you, and made you feel special. The world seemed like a wonderful place, and life felt that it was where it belonged. Life was granted permission to enter the world but warned that while a fascinating place, it also had its shares of horrors and pain, as well as happiness. Life was told that this place called the world was hard on innocent and blameless things, and it would take much effort to survive in it. Life accepted this fact and wanted to be there more than ever. Countless times life tried to enter the world, and many times almost made it, only to be denied its gold. Its friends entreated it to abandon this quest for fear of life burning itself out. But life felt that getting home was worth the effort. For what is existence if you are not where you belong? Life gathered all its strength and assisted by the wings of hope, on March 22, 1992, into the world struggling for breath, weighing only one pound, five ounces, 
faith, and love, two very wise spirits marveled at life's determination. They made it a boy child and christened him Calvinon, which means victorious by tenacity and fortitude. They guided a team of doctors and nurses who used all their crafts to make Calvinon stronger. They stuck large oxygen tubes in his little throat to help him breathe. Kavanaugh awoke. His throat hurt terribly. What a noisy place. And what strange creatures inhabited. He became frightened. And then he heard a familiar voice. A voice he heard every day while he was in that waiting place trying to get home. He felt his little human heart beating, and warm hands was touching him, and he slowly opened his eyes, and he announced in his heart, Mommy, I'm here. You see, family, community, and friends, I broke all the laws of health, all the natural laws of health. I knew that when my child decided to come early that I should not allow him to be forced to stay in a wet, toxic environment, have that McDonnell Douglas stitch done, and keep my baby here in my body, an environment that wasn't conducive for life. But that's what that Western medical system would have you believe and have you doing, thinking that that's the best for your child. So when you listen to episode two at ConsciousSelfCare.com, you will know my whole journey. But I'm thankful, I'm blessed that my son came, because my son came to give a powerful message to the Western medical system. They went along and helped them understand even better about the lymphatic system and the power of the breath. You see, they said he has a strong heart, And he hurried up and moved him away from me. But I saw him. I got a glimpse. And he was limp. And I don't think I've ever used that word in my life before. I was 30-something years old. But I said he's limp. And they're saying that his heart is good. But as a bioenergetic, bioinformational wellness specialist, my journey in quantum health and healing and understanding quantum physics and the embryonic state I understood what they were saying, but see, like I said, what we do, family community, we take that deep, deep breath. And it is those lungs that have to have that breath to maintain your life here on planet Earth. So they knew what they were doing, and they knew what they wanted to do, and they used my baby to help them further their understanding of a body that was born wet and lungs that were weak, and they did their research. And so, as they did their research, the universe moved me into doing my research to become a lithologist. And as you know, or do not know, but when you study, you will learn that back in 1931, a man named Dr. Otto Warburg, W-A-R-B-U-R-G, won the Nobel Prize for work proving cancer is caused by lack of oxygen in your cells so if lack of oxygen caused cancer that means lack of oxygen caused all your organs to have issues to create cellular malfunction because as we said oxygen pumps electricity equals power those four words come from a 30 step formula when you learn about Science of lithology. So, like I said, he proved cancer was caused by lack of oxygen. In fact, he stated in his book, The Prime Cause and Prevention of Cancer, that cause of cancer is no longer a mystery. We know what occurs whenever any cell is denied 60% of its oxygen requirements. So that's true for every organ in the body. When they say that you have diabetes, when they say that you have heart issues, when they say that you have high blood pressure, that means that what? It's lack of oxygen in the body. And what causes that? 
We are shadow breathers. We don't take good breaths. We're not breathing all the time and we're not eating oxygenated food. So we got to think about this. We got to rethink this disease thing. We got to shift out of chronic disease kids stress now to save a generation and not have them feel hopeless and helpless to diseases waiting for a cure. And guess what? Documentation and proof exists showing oxygen therapy works going all the way back to the late 1800s so now you're probably wondering if he if the antidote for cancer is so easy how come we haven't heard about it because they want to keep you a victim so that they can make money there is no money in oxygen Unless they want to put you on that fake oxygen like they did my son. Had him on wet oxygen in the hospital. Put him on dry oxygen when he came home. And that's why he died within two hours. Because he was already dying the whole time they kept him alive for five months. The truth showed itself. But like I said, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for my son's journey. I'm thankful for what I did to honor my mother, to honor my sister when they begged me to have the McDonald Douglas stitch done that it was a possibility that my son could be born, but I kept saying something ain't right with that, I'm going against nature because that's the natural not the natural environment, the clean environment that he's supposed to be in but like I said, he gave a powerful message to them, and he gave a powerful message to me, to share with you all, to understand that it's all about oxygen the proper nutrition to help the cells that pump that mitochondria in and out to understand to create electricity to maintain that electricity to create that power so the heart can circulate that blood we can move that lymphatic system to purify the body and all organs can function well we have to understand where we are right now we have to step up out of the dark ages of disease care and a lot of you have And I want to share your wellness story. I want to come back to live radio. But I am not coming back to live radio until those stories start coming in. Because I'm holding that space for you to share your wellness story. I want to return to live broadcasting. But I need your stories to do that. Because like I said, for the past 7 years on Interlight Radio and for the past 25 years, I've been sharing with you cellular ecology epigenetics, quantum health and healing, physics to help you understand where we are and now I want to hear your stories because I read them every day. I know that there are people out there that have decided not to go through the chemo, not to go through the radiation. There are people out there that decided not to have organs removed. There are people that decided not to take pharmaceuticals for year after year after year after year and you're doing wonderful because the body is adaptable. Take the breath. I'm coming to you straight. There's no cut cars in what I'm doing. I'm laying it out there. Emancipate yourself. Get off of drugs. If you want to live, get off of drugs. The body does not need drugs to maintain life. The body needs proper nutrition. The body needs the proper thought process from your consciousness because it's what you believe that's governing what's going on with your physical body. Wake up. Visit my website and understand that it's true. When Dr. Benjamin Rush, the Surgeon General for George Washington's Army and signer of the Declaration of Independence stated, unless we put medical freedom into the Constitution, the time will come when medicine will organize into an undercover dictatorship to restrict the arts of healing to one class of men, conventional oxidox treatment and deny equal privileges to others. So they want to say that we are quacks, that we're not giving you the right information. You can't tell people that they don't have a disease. You can't tell people to stop taking medication. I can say whatever I want to say because I have the right to use my voice to say that. The First Amendment, freedom of speech. I'm only repeating what they are saying that you are not hearing because you are feeling helpless and hopeless because it's a part of your lineage. It's because of what you've been taught by your parents, your grandparents, by the community. I'm letting you know right now to understand that you can correct any cellular malfunction that you have. Most of them are lifestyle choices, diseases, because you are refusing to believe how to properly care for your body. Your body don't care what you eat. 
if it don't have any nutritional in it for the cells to do their job with, they're going to malfunction. Eating food is not about what we like. It's about giving life to the body. We have to take a moment and take a breath and realize that. So, yes, they didn't put it in the Constitution. They don't even live by the Constitution now anyway. Because it's your responsibility. And you don't need nobody's permission. But I tell you what, don't get caught up in that system. Because once they diagnose you with cancer, they will take over your life and your child's life. And even try to become the parents to your children. Get out of that system. Period. You don't need their prevention tests because their test only leads you to a diseased state of consciousness. And you don't need that. You're looking for wellness. You don't even want to go to an alternative practitioner that says that alternative and natural and bioenergetics and energetic medicine will help you with a disease. Because it will not. There is nothing that's going to help a disease unless you eradicate it from your thinking. That's how you cure diseases. You eradicate it from your thinking and recognize cellular malfunctions. And don't let your cells malfunction for so long that it takes you a harder time to correct them. But you can't correct them. You may have to go through some changes because your body is going to let go of all the toxicity and you're going to feel weaker before you feel better but one thing for sure at least you know you're going towards wellness and not going towards a degenerate way that you will end up in a home somewhere dementia alzheimer's which comes from drug related your body has to be able to purify itself that deep breath Learning about lymphocizing versus exercising. Lymphocize is all about getting the fluids out of the organs of the body to process themselves correctly. You must learn cellular ecology. You must understand the power of the lymphatic system. When it's sluggish and moves slow, the body can't purify itself. Just look at yourself like a septic tank, like a backed up sewer. Look at your life like your body like a fish tank. And see how well you clean that out and ask yourself, are you doing the same thing for your physical body? I'm Karen Khadija Davis, folks, and I've been sharing the signs of lymphology, cellular ecology for the past 35 years. And I want you to understand that I understand that I create cellular malfunctions. I have them and I know what to do. I sit back and I analyze myself and I see what state of consciousness that I am. And I say, what law did you break today? Who are you giving your power to? Because stress is only turning against yourself, trying to fit into a world that you can't fit into. When you have stress and you're feeling stressed out, it's because you're not honoring who you are. You are turning against yourself. So stress is no mystery. Stop turning against yourself. Believe in your own power. And as I close out this episode with you, I want you to share your wellness story at my website. Once I get in 50 to 60 stories, I can go back live on the radio because you will be my guest. And we will be helping the world to make a change. So will you step up now? I wanted to write a poem about stepping up out of the dark ages of health care. But my mind could not think how to let the words rhyme or the lyrics flow. The human body fluids needs to move like the oceans of the world. Fluidity, flowing, free of stagnation, blockages, and lack of quality oxygen. The human mind needs to reach its greatest heights and think like an eagle and realize the dream. I wanted to write a poem about stepping up out of the dark ages of health care. Or really is it just disease care and dis-ease care? Nevertheless, I say, wake up everybody, time to think a new way. Wake up all the doctors, allopathic and alternative too. Wake up, it's time to practice a new way. The human body needs to be nourished from the greenness of the land. Go live, go green, get healthy, and you will get lean. You see, I wanted to write a poem about stepping up out of the dark ages of health care. But my mind couldn't think 
how to let the words rhyme or the lyrics flow. The pastorian and Darwin ages has now seen his last days. Step up to the future and fly like an eagle as you reach a greater level of wellness today. Come ride with me. Come join me on this friendship train as we go for a Harriet Tubman's ride. A ride to freedom from farmer side and nutricide. And yes, oh yes, the sad, sad, and I do mean sad, standard American diet. Come ride with me as you set your mind free. Shh, now, shh. Come take that deep breath and listen here as I whisper in your ear universal truths that you will hold so dear because the secrets of health care are now being revealed about cellular ecology and the new paradigm informational health care step up out of the dark ages of disease care and leap into the new revolution of quantum health care I'm Karen Khadija Davis folks come ride with me as we get on board this train of healthcare freedom. You see, you don't need a ticket. You just get on board and let freedom ring. Let freedom ring from the truth twisted with a lie to keep you on that unrighteous train ride. So I implore you to find and take back your righteous thinking. Conscious living through living consciously is the key. I wanted to write a poem about stepping up out of the dark ages of healthcare, but my mind could not think how to let the words rhyme or the lyrics flow. So I put the words in a book and I called it Step Up Out of the Dark Ages of Healthcare. So get your copy today. Transform your life and your health, not by force and change, but by the renewing, by the renewing of your minds. Family, community, and friends, life is a state of consciousness. And what state is your consciousness in on a daily basis? And in this year of 2017, when all this big uproar is going on about health care and the health care bill and what they're going to give you and what they're not going to give you and what they're going to let you get as services, you don't have to be concerned with none of that. Because, see, I don't have insurance. I have assurance. I have assurance that my body is adaptable and through my consciousness and how I feed my body, it's going to be able to maintain and take good care of this life. And when I sit down and take those breaths and I sit down and breathe and I ask myself the question, why do I feel out of balance? I don't need to go to the doctor for no death notice with no insurance because I got assurance. And I want a practitioner that has assurance with me that's not going to keep telling me I got a disease and I need to go to the doctor that there's nothing they can do for me anymore after they told me that I could be on these herbs and all these products and they don't help. They do help. But as long as you stay in a disease state of mind, you won't get what you want out of them. You're going to keep yourself and you're not going to be in coherence. The heart, mind, and brain is not going to function right. So set back. Take that deep breath. Re-listen to this broadcast. Listen to the other broadcasts. Find yourself and walk your way around my website, ConsciousSelfCare.com. Listen to my shows where I brought in powerful guests on YouTube.com forward slash K Davis F. And listen to how we're helping you have assurance in yourself. It's about self-care. Conscious self-care, making conscious self-health care moves. You want to take that map period, mental adjustment period. And sometimes we need to take a nap naturally at peace 
take a nap, get back into nature, get back into yourself, regenerate yourself, and start all over again. Family, community, and friends, to save a generation, to save ourselves, we've got to do things differently. So tune in next week as I make another Conscious Self Healthcare Conversation Hour recorded broadcast for you until the day that I can return to live broadcasting. And I will return to innerlightradio.com. It may not be at the same day and it may not be at the same channel that it was, the time that it was, but I will return when my life opens up and I start getting those emails that I know the people are sending in, the phone calls that I know that are coming in. But somebody wanted to block it. But that's okay because you can't block the truth. The truth is the truth and it will find its way into the light. Bury disease thinking. Stop taking those pharmaceuticals and love yourself. Take that deep breath. So once again, I'm Karen Khadija Davis, folks. Thank you so very much for listening all the way through this hour broadcast. Family community, I invite you to listen to innerlightradio.com, the healing frequency. Live programming 24-7 every Wednesday is Wellness Wednesday. You get to hear from some powerful holistic practitioners, healers, and sharing information to help you empower yourself. You don't need insurance. You got to have assurance in yourself. Peace, love, blessings. Thank you. I love you. Heart to heart. Healthy living.